Ciao a tutti e benvenuti alla cucina di Gerardina. Eh, il piatto di oggi è vongole a reganata. È un piatto preferito di quello sfaticato di mio figlio. Uh, allora, hey, mommy, ecco l'ingrediente. Ma ca- what's, uh, what's all this? Ma non vedi che sto facendo il mio show televisivo? Che ti credi che solo tu sei un big shot? Ma, this is my stuff. Baby Audio called me up and I have to do a video for the new plugin. You can't just take my camera whenever you want to film your cooking eh, show. Sì, sì, sì. Ma dimmi una cosa. È stata mai a pensato Splace? Oh, wait. Say, hey, hold on a second. Ma, I thought I told you eh. they're going to call me one day. All right? A fa' video, va. All right. Va, va. Okay. A fangula. Buona fortuna. Don't steal my stuff next time. So, uh, should I just do the video now? I get... uh, all right. Hey, best friends, it's Richie Beretta, and guess what? It's your luckiest day, because today I'm going to show you some of the presets I designed for Baby Audio's newest reverb plugin, Crystalline. I'm also going to show you some reverb techniques I use in almost every single mix I do. So, let's get right hey, into it. Hey, hey, forget about the video. Mancha, <laughs> yeah, mancha, mancha. You like Phil Collins? Of course you do. That's why you're here. So in this first example, I want to show you the preset that's called, do you like Phil Collins? We're going to start with this example because this particular preset shows just how good Crystalline is at emulating the algorithmic reverbs of the 1980s. But because of all the new features that uh, they, they put in, you could make it as pristine as you possibly want it to be. I don't care about emulating some vintage piece of equipment, even though I do have an algorithmic uh, reverb unit. Uh, it's a Yamaha uh, RX 42069. I don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know the model number. I just know that it's old and it sounds cool, but we'll never turn it on again because crystalline sounds almost identical. Hey, if you're into vintage stuff, cool, you could use this. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, also good, but you should still like Phil Collins. This particular preset, it's meant to emulate the most famous drum roll uh, in the history of recorded music. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's the one that goes ba-dum, 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 bum. And then we had to put an air horn in there because, you know, don't want to get sued. So. Let's jump right into it. This is how we get it. Okay, so here I have a tom roll. It sounds like this. Okay, pretty, you know, solid. But if you played that, Phil Collins is not going to knock on your door and offer you a Diet Cola. So what we do is we put on Crystalline. And we go to your boy's preset. Do you like Phil Collins? And then this is what it turns out to be. Now, Philip Collins is going to come over with a pizza and a, 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 a copy of Jumanji, and you're going to have a lovely evening, just so you can really appreciate the what? Do you mean Tarzan? No, Jumanji. <laughs> Did he also do the soundtrack for Jumanji? No, I just thought it was a good movie to watch. <laughs> now, an algorithmic reverb, for those of you who don't know and are interested, uh, was a reverb processing unit that would hold algorithms on these little microchips on the circuit board. Now, back in the day, those microchips could hold about, you know, 128 bytes, Uh, really not that much space, but they were really expensive back then. So it's like the equivalent of having a a processing unit with a bunch of solid state hard drives on it meant to hold algorithmic information. Now, you send the signal through it, and that algorithm would create a bunch of mini delay trails to emulate reverberation, but it didn't quite sound exactly the way a real room would sound or a real plate would sound, but that was the point. Back when reverb technology was advancing, people were sort of hungry for the coloration that analog equipment had and that the new digital equipment wasn't bringing to the table. So any kind of offset in tone, any type of colorization or any type of harmonic action that was imparted by the processing unit was very welcome. That's where this resolution button comes in. In my preset, I have it on the highest resolution because, you know, we live in the future. But if you keep the resolution somewhere in the mid, you're going to get something that sounds a little bit more like 1980s. Let's test it now with the resolution on high, which is sort of closer to what the uh, original units would sound like. And again, on pristine. And you could tell that on pristine, 
the reverb is a little brighter. That means the algorithm is going a little deeper. By the way, the type of reverb that we're emulating here is called a nonlinear reverb or gated reverb. I don't care what you call it. Basically, what's happening is the reverberation tail is being halted abruptly, which is why it's called gated re reverb. Uh, other people like to call it nonlinear reverb because instead of having all the reverberations dissipate evenly, it's cut off. It's nonlinear. So, you know, whatever, dude. Here's a little trick that I like to use on drum reverbs. I'll put a compressor before the reverb to add a little bit uh, of an excitement to the tom roll. And that's what gets reverberated. And, you know, you can have fun with this. You could do whatever you want with whatever compressor you want. You know, I'm using this one because uh, I'm used to the purple uh, MC-77. I have, I have one here. But like I said, use your favorite one. Be yourself, my baby. Okay, so what am I doing here? Nothing really that crazy. Four to one ratio on the compressor. Uh, medium attack, medium release. Uh, I'm really making sure that I'm adding some chunkiness and bite. I'm messing up the transient. The idea is to make this sound unnatural. This is what the compressor does to the toms. You can tell they're a little bit more spiky if I bypass the compressor and we hear what it sounds like normally. You know, that's, that's for softies, my baby. So now we throw that into the reverb, put it all together. Oh, hold on, let me get the door, it's Philip Collins. All right, best friends, that's it, it's over. I showed you everything, well, not everything. There's more presets in there for you, my baby. So go and get crystalline and live your best reverb life. Thank you to Baby Audio as always for letting me do these videos. Never stop making music, I love you. Goodbye. Yeah, it was good.